for the intro, we have a total of six chords, and then it goes into the main riff. So we start with, this is the G major nine chord. You'll notice that you have this little cluster, A, B, D, F sharp. You can also think of it as a B minor seven, but putting the A on the bottom of the chord. All right, then we go to an F sharp, seven sharp nine, and the shape, we have an A sharp, E, and an A. Anytime you see a sharp nine chord, you'll play this type of shape for the most part. And then from here, the bass notes just go down chromatic, and then we have a pattern. So this is an F major nine chord. You can also include the E if you want to, but to simplify the voicing, we're gonna play an A, D, G. It's a fourth interval shape. And then from here, the thumb is just gonna drop a half step to your E7 sharp nine. So F major nine, E7 sharp nine. And then we get to the E flat major nine chord. Same shape that we played on F, but just transposed. And then again, the thumb drops. It's a really good exercise um, just for voicing and seeing how the half steps make the difference. So again, G major nine, F sharp, uh, the F sharp sharp nine chord, and then F major nine, E seven sharp nine chord, E flat major nine, and then the D seven sharp nine chord. And really the best way to do this is just practice these little two chord sequences. Then you have the chromatic bass line to top it all off. Alright, now it goes into the little chord rhythm sequence that continues into the verse. C major 7. And then you're going to drop the low notes in both hands as a step. And you're going to play this little fourth chord shape in the right hand A, D, G. The right hand. And both notes go down a step left hand, bottom note goes in a step, and then together, and then the rhythm is this kind of syncopated rhythm that's done a lot on these tunes, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and then you hold that through the rest of the measure. Okay, all the way through the intro in time.